the Middlesbrough defender was a member of the team that won the Under-17 European Championships in Malta four years ago. Then, last summer, he picked up a Under-20 World Cup winner's medal in Korea. He's added another medal to that growing collection and he's still two months shy of his 21st birthday. Not only did the talented Teesider play in every minute of every match in France, he scored two goals, including the equaliser against Mexico in Saturday's final. England fell behind to Roberto Alvarado's second-minute strike at the state Francis Turkin, in Martigas. El Fry challenges Mexico's Roberto Carlos Alvarado Hernandez in the under-21 Toulon tournament final 30 minutes later 80 Booth Red's young Lions drew level when Fry latched onto a loose ball and fired home after the Mexican keeper has failed to hold of Jay Clark's Salter long throw. The winner came in the 36th minute when Kieran Dow converted an Eddie Nketi across. Fry spoke exclusively to Teesside Live about his experiences in France with England and it's fair to say he's loved every minute of the tournament. It's gone very well, it's been amazing to be part of this competition with England, he said. We've won the tournament for the past two years and the aim has been to make it three in a row. It's been nice to get the opportunity to do that again. I was with England when we won in 2014 and we've also won the World Cup. When the lads got the win in the final in Korea it was a massive, massive moment. I've been delighted to play every single minute of every single game here, he added. My aim was to perform well, win the tournament and get back up to full fitness for pre-season, Han Chan Hee of Korea Republic challenges Dale Fry of England at the FIFA Under-20 World Cup Fry will now take a well-earned break before reporting back for pre-season training at Rockcliffe Park when he'll try to build on his outstanding display for Goro in the playoff semi-final second leg at Aston Villa. For then he can reflect on a job well done in France and some special memories to treasure when his winds down next week. Singing the national anthem was a proud moment and seeing your family in the crowd is special, he said, looking back on the highlights of his time in France. Seeing my dad in the crowd while I was singing the anthem is something I'll always remember. My dad Gary was here for the first game, but then he had to go back for work. The EFL announced cup and program changes that will affect Middlesbrough England begin their campaign with a 2-1 comeback win over China. The ties have been tough and we've played different formations in different games, admitted Fry. Against China in the opening game one managed to get my first goal for the under-21 so that was great. To be honest I could probably have scored a couple more, I got my head onto a few crosses but couldn't manage to get a good contact on the ball. The Chinese players weren't the tallest so we fancied our chances from set pieces. Eventually I managed to get my head onto one and scored so I was delighted with that. It was a great feeling to score with my first goal. Dale Fry challenges Scotland's Fraser Hornby in the Toulon tournament semi-final. Also, it was our first game and it's always important to start with a win when you are in a tournament. We went 1-0 down but once we equalized we fancied our chances of getting the winner. Next up were Mexico, who ended up winning the group and would await England in the final. They have a few good individuals and they are capable of scoring goals from a long distance, said Fry. They were a good team when we played them in the group. We were trying to play the ball out from the back but they were very quick to close us down and we had to change the way we played slightly. It was a tight game and while we were confident we could score I felt pretty sure we weren't going to concede. When we attacked we were still solid in defense, there was no real danger of them catching us on the break. Then we needed to win the game against Qatar 5-0 to finish top of the group. I don't think we scored until the 27th minute and from then on the goals started flowing. In the end we won 4-0 and had to make do with second place which meant we had to play Scotland in the semi-finals. Dale Fry, Image, Getty Images Europe, it's always a bit more special when you play Scotland.
It was a good game and they got the first goal but once we pulled one back we knew we'd get another. In the end we managed to win 3-1. England's win over Mexico was even more impressive when the intense heat the final was played in is taken into account. It's an experience that will stand the players in good stead if they qualify for next summer's Under-21 European Championships, which will be staged in Italy. England Under-21s, Woodman, Kenny, Cook, Fry, Dowell, Abraham, Vieira, Clark Saltar, Connolly, De Silva, Nakedia, 